All right, show one, so one. First and foremost, we're going to be this lesson. Giving no honor, no glory, no praise to duty. And how will by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Kakadash, that was a great message out of possible teaching as well. Peace and salutation to those who are elected, scattered abroad, and like the other nations, Shalom, Shalom, and Shalom to the sincere Aki of us out there making anybody a the sacrifice by going out there on the highway, by the hedges, proclaiming his truth, teaching the 100% truth, and teaching the 100% doctrine. Okay? Keep doing so to those that may be. Shalom, Shalom. And the Shalom to the Sirach that's out there representing husbands, being a pillar of rest. Keep doing so to those that may be. Shalom, Shalom. Okay? Yahweh, being the Heavenly Father, which the world eagerly calls God, which his name means in the ancient Hebrew, of Hebrew, he is to exist. He is the ancient of days. By Hashem, meaning the name of Yahweh Shai, being only the God's Son, and the Heavenly Father, which the world eagerly calls Jesus the Christ. Which his name means in the ancient paleo Hebrew, he's the deliverer, he's the savior. Okay, but it's the deliverer and savior for who? The children of Israel only. Okay, you know, Kakadash being Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy. Okay, today's lesson is just flowing through the spirit, man, and just, you know, touching on, man, that, hey, man, bring the brink of World War III and Civil War is here, man. Okay, because, hey, just at any given moment, man, the Lord can just. Have it just happen, man. You know, but we know through the prophecies that the mark of the beast has to be uh going to have to come to pass too, you know. And we are seeing these things surely coming to pass, man. Okay, because the uh, apostle to heart deemed this year, uh the year of the uh, uh hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, man. Okay? Because look at what's going on, man. Look look at the tensions of these nations, man. Look look at what's going on, man, you know. You got uh, Yemen, uh, you got the United States that bombed Yemen, or Yemen, okay? You got uh, things happening within America's soil, okay? With the Texas versus the Biden administration, you know? Being at odds with one another, you know? That's civil war within itself, man. And the Lord warned us of these things, okay? Let's go to Matthew 24, okay? And that's why we pay attention to the signs, because these are the signs that our Lord Yahweh Shai spoke of to let us know what time and what kind of, uh, you know, what times we are in. And we are seeing that. OK, so uh, let's go ahead and get Matthew 24. OK, I'm going to get Habakkuk okay, 2, then Matthew 24. OK. Habakkuk 2 and verse uh, 2. And it says, and Yahweh answered, and he said, unto, said, write a little vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. Right. And what is those visions? And what is that? You know, these uh, visions of prophecies coming to pass, man. Okay. And make it plain upon tables that he may read it, that readeth it. For the vision is yet for the appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and it shall and not lie. And though it tarry. Wait for it because it will surely come and it will not tarry. Right. So we are when it says that it surely will not tarry, it's talking about these prophecies, man. These prophecies are going to come to pass, man. These prophecies are look like they are tarrying the whole time. They are coming to pass slowly but surely. But when you look at the time, look at what's going on in the world, you could tell that these prophecies are playing out, man. Okay? As the Lord said, man. Okay. Hey, these are the things that the Lord promised us that we're going to see, okay? Because uh, back then, with the uh, apostles back then, okay, they desired to see these things, but the Lord told them that basically the time is not yet, okay? Basically, we going to see these things in our lifetime, 2,000 years later, within our lifetime, okay? And that's what Yahweh Shah is referencing to, for us to see these things, okay? And those apostles part of uh, back on the earth, you know, they part they out there doing the work, man. Okay, but the point being is, um, the point being is, uh, these signs and these uh these signs that we need to be paying attention to that would let us know that the end is near is these things that Yahweh Shah spoke of. Okay, so yeah. Just because they look like they taking a long time, they surely coming to pass, man. Okay, because you go to Matthew 24. Okay, these are the prophecies. Okay, Matthew 24. Matthew 24 
at verse uh, 5, 6. I'm going to start at verse uh, 3. And it says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and the end of the world? Right. And this was the question that apostles asked Yahweh Shai. How should we know the end of the world is coming? You know, and what should we be looking for? And Yahweh Shai told him. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, and saying, I am Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, and deceive many. Okay, but the very elect is not going to get deceived by such uh, things. Okay, because the Lord said that um, that uh, that basically his flock is in his hand and none should pluck it away. Okay, so continue on. And it says, And ye shall hear of wars, rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Right. These are the signs and that Yahweh Shah told us to look for. Okay. Let me take These are the things that Yahweh Shah told us to look for because these are the prophecies that's going to play out within the earth, man. Okay. So Yahweh Shah told us and warned us of these things. Okay. So, yes, rumors of wars and wars. You have rumors of wars. And wars going on, man. Okay, you got what's you got what's going on in Ukraine and Russia. Okay, you got what's going on with Yemen and the United States and NATO looking at the United States. Like, why the hell would y'all do that? Okay, and that's just a further that's a, a prophecy right there. You know, because soon America's allies is going to turn against America, man. Okay, meaning those same NATO nations, America's allies is going to turn against America. Meaning what? The scriptures say these shall hate the whore, man. Okay? America's allies is going to turn against America, man. Okay? And that's prophesied, man. What is the whore? Babylon. What is Babylon? America. Okay? Because this the this the whore that sitteth upon many waters, man. What are those waters? Those different people, tongues, and nations, man. Okay? Because this place, America, has everybody, you know, uh under its uh uh um uh, tyrannical rule man okay so that's why you know the whore the the, the this is the whore that sitteth upon many waters okay and this 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 is the great whore that the uh that john the revelator seen with the, his visions okay so yeah man these are the things that we are to be looking out for because it's been prophesied unto us to see these things okay and lord willing you know we be found faithful and be part of the elect, man, to get the hell up out of here. Because when the Lord told us, man, uh, come up out of her, my people, so you don't be partakers of her sins. Hey, that's real, man. Because uh, partake of her plagues to lock you. Because that's the destruction that's coming. Okay? But meanwhile, you're going to have those two-third jakes that don't want to leave this place. Because they too, they too, um, uh, entangled and too snared up with the affairs of this life man and that's a problem okay the lord don't like that man and that's why the lord got to do away with you two-third israelites man because y'all not truly fearing the lord like how the lord wants you to be fearing him man okay a lot of y'all really just uh mouth service israelites man okay so let's go ahead and get revelation 11 basically speaking on world war three because hey this time this is going to be destruction happening in the earth, man. Okay? It's Revelation 11. Okay? Because this is what's going to come to pass. These visions, you know, which are these prophecies that John the Revelator seen. Okay? And in many other prophets seen uh, the, uh, nukes exploding, man. All right? Uh, Revelation 11 and verse uh, 9. And the reason... Uh, verse... Uh, where is it? Verse 13, Salaki. And it says, <clears throat> And the same hour was there a great earthquake, and a tenth part of the city fell. And in the earthquake were slain men, seven thousand, and gave glory to Yahweh of heaven. Now, the tenth part is basically talking about how the NATO has uh, uh, America split, split into ten parts. Okay, you, you can look that picture up. 
okay america within 10 parts and that 10 part is the talking about america because that's that city this is that city that is in 10 parts okay and it's when that same hour that earthquake that's talking about those thermonuclear missiles hitting the hitting america and it's going to cause it's going to feel like an earthquake is happening on the other side of the world okay that's what this is being described as a great earthquake okay and it's going the whole world is going to feel it okay because these nuclear missiles these nuclear uh warheads got enough uh power to reshape land masses okay so when the lord lay down the destruction upon this place man you are going to you these people who are around the world is going to know the indignation of the lord because this is the way the lord is going to exalt his name within the earth by destroying babylon man and and having his son come and um take out you edomites out of power man and put your ass in the slave. All right. Verse 14. And the second woe is past. And behold the third woe coming quickly. Okay. You had World War I already happen. And now. It's because those woes stand for destruction. Sorrow. Okay. World War I already happened. World War II already happened. So it says the third woe coming quickly. Meaning what? The third world war is coming. And you can see it. Okay. And if you can't see it man. Maybe the, hey, the Lord just blinded your eyes to seeing the truth, man. Okay? And it's not probably meant for you to get it, you know? Because at the end of the day, the elect is going to perceive this and understand this and believe in this, okay? Not some simple-ass nigga that reads the Bible and don't believe in it, okay? And pulling his favorite scriptures to fit his narrative, okay? You're not going to get this, man, okay? This truth is for the very elect only, man. All right? And that's who we are teaching to. That's who we are preaching to for the elect to get this, man. All right. So that's it on that. Uh, let's get Revelations uh, 18. And I'm going to end it off on that. Okay. Because there's more to talk about, about, you know, destruction coming, man. All right. This is Revelation 18 and verse uh, 4. And it says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, they, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that you see, receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached into heaven, and Yahweh hath remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her as she had. Uh, so like, let me uh, make this turn. And it says, Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to the, her works, and the cup which she hath filled to her double. Okay? So when the Lord said, come up out of her, my people, hey, it's a physical aspect and then the spiritual aspect, because we must depart out of this place spiritually first, mentally first, man. OK, then come the physical. OK, what is that physical? Us getting beamed out of here with those chariots, man. OK, so that's what we are. So that's what we are waited upon, man. Yeah, how about Shini Al Shai to redeem us, to beam us out of here, man. OK. And that's the that's what's coming, man. That is what's coming, man. All right. And when it says uh, double unto her, when the, when the Lord said uh, her sins had reached into the uh, heavens, man. Hey, man, that's real. Okay. The sins of this place has literally reached into the heavens, man. Okay. Spiritually and physically, man. When I say physically, you damn devils got your fucking space trash up there, man. You polluted the whole damn earth, man. So, kind man, with that, man. Basically, just doing a video after that six, three minute video I posted. Lord, will just add a fine to those who watch, giving no honor, no glory, no praise due to Yahweh. By Shimmy, I was shy. By Shimmy, I was shy. Next time, I'll this video. Shalom, Kamashrala, by the ball.